What's up guys, Sucktastic Guy here from my Tiny TV. Just wanted to do a little review on these belts for my ANET A8. Well, I just shouldn't say belts. Chains. Chains, a lot of people have been talking all this smack about chains and everything. And Actually, I just took apart this one and checked all the wiring because I heard all this nonsense. And really, I'm just going to put it back right the way I had it, and that's just with the zip ties. You can see one here. I kind of left this one undone so I can show some uh, examples of what's going on. And then I have one here tied. It's tied down completely. Well, that one basically keeps these from moving at all, you know. And then this one, if you look at this down in there, you can see me moving it by doing this. Of course, you can see all the way over here. You see that? See what I do then is this point after I tied that one off, of course, down at the bottom there, is I wiggle it until I find the absolute median right in the middle, and then I'll go ahead and lock down this one. That that's what I've been doing, and I have absolutely no fraying going whatsoever. So hallelujah. Try and stick with that. Just make sure you know when you're adjusting it and about to tie it down. See how there's all the way forward and then all the way back. Try and get it right in the middle and then lock it down right there. I chose this spot because it doesn't really bend from there to here, of course. It stops bending about here. So it's just, just before it starts bending when it's at the home position. So yeah, did the same thing with the bottom belt. Yeah, you know, right there. You can't really see how I have it zip tied in there because I zip tied it down. But they exist in there, just two of them. One just before it starts to bend, and then one on the other side before it starts to bend. You know, just keep those wires in check. You can see pretty much they're like in the middle and decent. Nothing, nothing's hurting them. They're not fraying and all this BS. So yeah, keep that in mind. You know, do a little bit of tightening. Go with this style. You see that it's raised higher? Yeah. I don't know if you can hear anything, but I can't hear anything from my belt. I can't even hear anything from my fan anymore at this point. But yeah, you hear the, the Y going back and forth. So just get yourself that. Boom, it's higher. No squeaking going on. Some people have it where their pitch is low like this, so they pitch it up, you know, and then it comes around. That's lame. Looks stupid too, really. You see mine. Mine's definitely pretty much even keel there. You know. So look at that. Oh, by the way, all oh, let me count these up. One, two, three. Oh, we'll start over here. After the one long one. You see that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So I got twenty-one links. And that extra long one with that, that's the model with the little foot peg, you know, you know, just adjust your Z, you know. Alright, and that one down there, I don't know how many that's got, I think it's actually like 15, count real fast, 5, 8, 10, yeah, 15 on the nut, and then, you know, you got your back plate back there that you got to print as well. You know, I printed this model for the end of the bed. It comes with two heads for the age frame. One's uh, zip tie and one screws. I went with the screw one thinking it would work, but if you look way in the back back, you know, back there, this frame, you won't actually be able to clear it if you have screws in there. Yeah, I tried all kinds of things. I had perfect flush screws and everything for it. It still didn't work, so... Don't mess with that one. Go ahead and get the zip tie one. Just save yourself some time. You know, print the zip tie one, and then you'll be good to go. You can see the wires back there. Yeah, they don't ever move anymore. They used to move when I had them hanging from the top, but no, that's all taken care of. So these, these Y belts are actually, or the Y belt and this X belt. Why do I keep saying belts? I don't know. They're chains. These chains, they work pretty great. So I don't see any reason why people got to be all negative about them, you know. Maybe because they're haters and they couldn't get their 
their ch chains to work well. Well, mine are actually pretty damn decent. A couple nicks here, you see how it's like not bending this. You gotta stretch it out a little bit, no big deal. But yeah, guys, check out that setup. It's working great for me. Chains all day, y'all. If I had a chain for the filament, I'd put one on there. Alright, guys, later.